on this week's KSP News Show. Oh my god! Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jim Lee Kerman! Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my fellow Kerbonauts. My name is Jin Lee Kerman. Oh my god. I never thought I would actually be able to report on the news that I'm going to be bringing you today, but I am. Kerbal Space Program is going into a full release. That's right, full release at the release of the next update, which shall be called 1.0. No, that is 100% right. Your eyes and your ears are not deceiving you. Kerbal Space Program has been announced and on Squadcast to be going into 1.0. That means that it will be coming out of early access on Steam and will be a full release game. Harvester posted this post on the KSP forums just yesterday as I am filming this on Saturday. It says, As development in beta has progressed, one thing has become very apparent. Kerbal Space Program is about to reach a state which every single one of the original goals for the game has been reached, and we can say that our original design document has been fulfilled. Because of this, our next update will be our 1.0 release, and with it we will be leaving early access, as I already stated. This is a landmark for us at Squad, as over the four years of development we feel that KSP is finally ready to be viewed by all as a complete game. What does 1.0 mean for everybody then? Most noticeably, it means KSP will be leaving the Early Access program. And while it does mean we are all ready to call KSP a complete game after the next release, it does not mean development itself is complete. Far from it, in fact. We say no better way to follow up on reaching our goals than to, than to continue development of Kerbal Space Program beyond beta, past our original plans. This means that after 1.0 is out, we will continue with the free updates 1.1, 1.2 and so on. This has only been made possible by the astounding, incredible support we have gotten over for you all. Consider everything that will come after 1.0 as our way of saying thank you for believing in our crazy little rocket launching game and supporting us through four years of, uh, four incredible years, sorry, for sticking with us all the way here and in advance already for staying around for the 1.0 and beyond. So let's talk about the future then. Here's what we have, here's what we plan to have on update 1.0. And here it gives a list of all of the confirmed big features of 1.0. I am so excited reading this guys, if you can't tell. So first off, we have the new drag model. We've redesigned the way drag is calculated. Now it will take into account things such as part occlusion, facing, and got rid of calculation being based on part mass. Now that's mostly just per... Um, that's mostly just um, coding jargon um, for re overhauling the drag model, but it basically means that the drag will be now be a lot more realistic, and the same goes for the new lift system, which is next. Corrected the lift so it's now properly a function of the square of your velocity, not linear. This allows for far more effective and accurate wings. Aerodynamic stability overlay. A new part of the UI to show you the stability of your crasp. Your crasp crafts as you build them so you can easily tell at a glance how airworthy or not your design is and to see the effects of any changes as you build. What an amazing addition to the UI this is going to be. It's going to make building rockets so much easier. As is this new feature, Engineer's Report. A new panel in the VAB and space plane hangar which will warn you of any crucial and generally frustrating issues in your design, such as a lack of fuel tanks, engines or landing gear, among many other advanced concepts such as those. Now we have another little interesting feature here which was going to be the main focus of this week's KSB News Show before all of this suddenly came out on Squadcast. It's a feature known as Time Warp 2. Fumble with time warp and mess up your burns no more. With this new feature, you can choose a point along your orbits and, and the game will take you there as fast as physically possible. This is an amazing game-changing feature and I honestly can't wait for this to happen because 
Oh my god, I cannot tell you how many times I have time warped past a node at like a thousand million times time warp and ended up like in deep space when I shouldn't have been... Ugh, oh, it's... I, I generally can't get over this feature. This feature is probably my favourite among all of these and there are a lot of amazing features here. Another awesome feature that I really like and I'm really going to try out is the new deep space and the planetary refueling. Adding a new system and set of parts that will allow you to collect matter from asteroids and other bodies, then process it, process it into useful things like fuel or oxidizer. Now, I really like how they've done this because it means asteroids now have another use other than just a plaything that you can sort of run around the VAB and crash into different things on the surface of Kerbin. Now they can actually be used as a mining and resource sort of station. So if you had, like, say, several together in Kerbin orbit, you could get resources from them and it would you could have, like, a massive refuel station that basically generates its own fuel. And I think this is really cool. And I also think that this sort of feature that they've added, this sort of, I don't know how to say it, um, dynamic, it could give, it could warrant visiting different worlds such as Gilly, um, ones that are perhaps not as, I don't know, visited as some of the others, which means that they will become a lot more attractive for missions to EVE because it means that you can actually fuel up on the surface, which means that large landers for EVE will not be a problem anymore. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Moving on to the next feature though, a game over has been added. Be careless with your funds and reputation and you might promptly find you had no longer have a job at the space center. So unfortunately it looks like Danny is about to get his notice handed in very fast. New landing gears have been added. With the much larger Mark III parts, we felt the need for equally much larger, larger? Larger landing gears. We're giving you much larger and much more diverse ones to fix that. And as well, we have a new, new larger wings. Mark III crafts also require you to make large wings out of, out of way, way too many small ones. We're adding wings that are not only larger than all others, they also carry fuel so you can finally make room for a properly massive payload area. We have the new EVA feature, which I was talking about last week on last week's show, the Kerbal Clamber. Kerbals can now climb over small obstacles and out of ladders up onto flat surfaces. Thank God, because their job was not already dangerous enough. And another feature, which I think is has been a feature that everyone has wanted for a very long time. I know what I've wanted for a very long time. Female Kerbals. A long time in the making, finally joining the team at the KSC. I have no idea what these guys are going to look like yet. These, or I should say girls. These girls are going to look like yet. But I think if they took the model from the texture replacer mod, the female models from that mod, I honestly think that that would probably look the best. We now have the economic systems rebalance, strategies, part costs, contract payouts, they all need to be fixed and have gotten a much needed balancing pass. We also now have the smaller change of part stats rebalance, we're making sure that no part is too light, too heavy, too powerful or too weak, exploiters beware. We have new contracts. We aim to bridge the gap between early and late game contracts as playtesting showed the difficulty curve could use some easing. And now this next change I am looking forward to because I initially reported on it um, way back when um, 0.25 or whenever the upgradable space centers in the last update were coming and they ended up changing them. This is the tier zero buildings. The originally revealed buildings have been enhanced and modified to meet our original vision for them. So that means guys that the barn, the, the amazing barn is making a reappearance in Kerbal Space Program. And I cannot wait for this because it, it's just hilarious. It's, oh, it's so funny. I, I love the barn. Uh, the barn is my bay. Yeah, I, I said that. Moving on to the next change though, a sound overhaul, adding sounds to several parts of the game and interface that needed them, as well as improving some existing ones. And finally, we have bug fixes. A lot of long-standing bugs are being fixed, and we do mean a lot of them. Beta means bug fixes, after all. And finally, it closes with a little statement saying, As always, we ask you to please keep in mind that the items above are not a commitment on our part. 
plans do change as development progresses and this update is no different. Same as always, you'll find a complete change log in the release notes once the update is out. Or stay tuned for our development notes every Tuesday to hear news as they develop. Happy launchings! And so, all in all, I am just... I, I'm so excited now. I can't believe that all these changes, all these massive changes are coming in one update and the fact that KSP is actually coming out of beta now. Good God, I cannot wait. Um, one thing that is missing from this, this list though is multiplayer. However, Squad have confirmed and did confirm a while ago that multiplayer will not be in the release version of KSP initially. It will be coming later down the line in 1.1, 1.2, whatever the update they decide to add it in is. So guys, I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of this new, this new features, these new features? What do you think of Kerbal Space Program coming out of beta and into full release? It has been such a long time since Kerbal Space Program was first um, began in development. So, I want to know your thoughts. Are you happy? Are you excited? What's your favourite feature of the new parts? Let me know in the comments section down below. But this is pretty much all I have time for in this episode, guys. This was a long one, and I actually managed to film this all in one take. Which I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about, to be honest. One take is pretty decent, actually. I'm really proud of that. Um, but yeah, this has actually been uploaded on a Sunday for once, because I have some free time. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to round it off for this episode. Please leave your opinions down in the comments down below. Thank you, squad, so much if you're watching this video for giving us such an awesome game. And we shall continue to com support it with this news show and with our community support in the very distant future. I know I definitely will be. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This is Jenly Kerman signing off. And as always, stay classy.